those things are there. Oh yeah. Uh, and and then and and, when it and there's another dimension. It's not mm -hmm. only where the data is, but if you start looking at it as a life cycle, how does data get created? Yes. Is it created in a secure way? Is it classified and and marked so we know how sensitive it is? You know, how does it get distributed? And how does it die? And that's exactly. one when I sit and I talk with IT folks or or organizations, you know, HR, or whatever, you know, I'll ask, all right, how do you kill off data? And they'll look at me like, why would I delete data? Okay, old and inaccurate data, it becomes caustic over time. And now what happens if that inaccurate data also gets exposed? That becomes real. Oh, I do have a few okay. more minutes, yes. Great. Let me ask you this. What, what are some of your top predictions for 2021? All right. Um, you know, first off, I'm going to make a prediction about your industry. How about this? Okay. Right? Because sure, it sure. is, you know, that, that continuous, um, you know, validation is important, uh, especially right now. It's predominantly being used on infrastructures, right, uh, to maintain uptime and, and, you know, weed out vulnerabilities. I predict within mm -hmm. probably two and a half to three years that very, very important. How are the users and the administrators coming in to do their work? Right? Is it set up? Um, I was dealing with um, uh, a product the other day, and it didn't have multi-factor or second-factor authentication options for administrators. There's lots of different things, and you know, it used to be build whatever you're going to build, and then slap on some security at the end. Right? That's the bolt-on security. That model fails, and it fails spectacularly. It fails because it doesn't really protect against risks. It isn't sustainable over time against emerging threats. It costs a lot at the end of the day, between 20 and 200 times versus you know, putting security and developing it correctly in the process.